Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Overlord 2. So, we're at the se second catapult. We're going to throw a bunch of minions in it, and then we're going to use it to destroy the troops. There's a life increase. Uh, so we're trying to destroy gold t guard towers and break things. Um, break the defenses of people. Uh, seems like they're shooting back, so I should probably take these guys out before they decide that they're going to kill me. Um, uh, so it's... Yeah, they're, they're actually doing quite a bit of damage to me. And yeah, ooh, that sucks. All right, thank goodness there was an auto save at that point because that would have been incredibly frustrating to have to run back through all of this. Um, that being said, our our minion count is still pretty low. Uh, I feel like it should be a lot higher. Alright, so... Is that enough to get him running? I think it is, okay. Hmm. Alright. So they're they're coming with siege towers. Now these balls tend to roll, but you kinda have to get closer. And so you're listening to the cl clicks more than anything is what I'm doing. Um that's still not enough. Five, six. It's very possible to just miss this. And if you just miss them a couple of times, you're 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 in a bad way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Siege towers are taking a lot of damage. And I overshot it. Do I have to hit him three times? Seems like we're going for the Nintendo hit things three times solution and hitting that at that moment probably wasn't so they're too close of course that's not a real problem for me. What destroys the siege towers though? No. You have right now an infinite amount of mana so... This feels a lot like the Force Unleashed one where you like I like the story of that game but you were basically pressing the same button through a significant amount of that game using force lightning uh, 
I I would like to see something more happen in all of this. Um, I'd like to for this probably to have been more of an action game where doing this was m faster and smoother and more varied in the movements and not just a three cycle attack. Um, and me has been squashed. I don't think I need the... I don't think I need anybody else. Um, so... I'll grab some more browns. And up where we go. Let's see. Um. You choose all. My fear here is someone's gonna fire a bunch of flame arrows at me. That's exactly what happened. So, again, we're suffering because we chose what seemed like the right mistress as our first mistress. Uh, but honestly, her mounts are not proving to be very useful. And it seems really easy to. Really, really easy to to lose minions in large quantities, even if you are playing the right way. If I had wolves that would have run through this section, uh, it still probably would have run the same into the same problem. So the game told me that as long as these guys are running, they were safe. Is that really true? No, it is not. They're still totally capable of dying from explosions, like any other instance. could certainly use some more health. We are so bottlenecked. Onwards to the next hill, Lord. Hmm. Uh, unfortunately, the Empire appears to have built a fort on top of it. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. To, the guys managed to blow up this area. Like, this is really not fair stuff they're doing, having us be attacked by people we, we can't reach, people that are doing a lot of damage to us. The hmm. life upgrade. This would be the wolves. Like this would be what where the wolves would be able to jump over the bridge and and kill these guys. But because we don't have the wolf mounts, best case scenario, we can try to like I can't really get them. We can try and burn them and. Like, Alright. Take 
that. I have like 15 reds and that's it. can't get up there to collect that item though so I literally would have to come back in, to, in this section later because I can't get the black lotus or whatever is over in there it would be nice if I had a, an absorption spell uh, to catch Life force. I don't know why I'd want those. Like I have so many greens and greens don't matter. Uh, I don't know how the game ended up that way. Hmm. And everything is despawning. Except for that black lotus. These are the siege towers. And there's a collection of people that are stuck and can't pathfind to where they're supposed to be. This was the bridge which seems like it has nothing to do it just closed the gate on me So maybe we'll take the siege tower and use it, or not. Uh, whichever central minion I'm controlling seems to be kind of randomly changing. Somebody comes back and then they, the game decides I'm controlling that minion. It would be easier if there was just a sphere of influence that you were drawing and you were just saying go that way and then the minions move themselves instead of having it always seemingly nominate a leader of the group for you to control. And this is just clipping th right through that, so that doesn't seem like that's anything. And we got a little duck hunting go action here. Uh, but still no real reason to kill ducks or any of the other life forms. Um... I think we were supposed to go this way. And I guess the gate closes. Leave us alone. Let's see. Um, this is stuck. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, people are drowning. Um, 
So that got stuck. I'll have to pull out some blues. Those guys can't find their way back. Can you come this way now? Come on guys. There you go. Okay. So unless I'm supposed to do something like this to have them go in there and take it out, which that worked, but I don't think that was supposed to work. Um That's the demon lord of Nordberg, isn't it? Guess maybe we're walking around the edge over here. So maybe I have to run back. Um, it felt like we were done. Yeah, this felt like we were done and we didn't need to use the catapult, but apparently we need to use the catapult. Or I'm just supposed to ignore this section that it's telling me directly to go to. Because I think that's the third part of the hill that we're supposed to control. It's a shame these salamanders can't uh, can't make a jump. Hmm. That's a different kind of puzzle, I suppose. Uh, you could see an idea here where if you were playing the game and halfway through the game or a third of the way through the game you uh, you could switch between uh, different one of the three different mistresses at that point if it said oh actually uh, there's secrets all over the place and and you have to have one of your mistresses selected to get different kinds of mounts uh, that would send you though uh, a lot of times wandering around levels multiple times uh, because you'd have to go back to your uh, oh. your base to decide uh, who's your mistress going to be you, you'd kind of want a a better system there uh, if you just throughout the course of the game unlocked all the different mistresses that would have been uh, like each mistress unlocked a different mount all the mounts are available once they're unlocked is what I would like to see okay Am I just not hitting this enough? It's like full power. And it's not breaking it. Tough shot to to hit the gate. Like, maybe that's really what they want you to do. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is about right. doesn't feel like this is what you're supposed to do. Really doesn't. And further back in that direction, if we go full power... Can I hit where the rock is? That's behind that wall? No. Can I, at full power, attack the city directly with the magic shield over it? No, it barely even reaches that siege tower. Okay, we can destroy a siege tower. That mean that's helpful information because it tells me that we are not in a position where we we are supposed to have done something with the siege tower. Most of these buildings are not destructible. see if perhaps we need to break barricades hmm. I mean we can break barricades so I've either missed something or or something's glitched here Took out the barricades. Be nice if we were getting money for this. And there's no small amount of force that will let you break the siege towers, I don't think. Hmm. We'll try this. This is what we were supposed to do. This is very, very silly. Just one tiny little click to break the siege towers. bits of siege tower flying everywhere. I don't think this is like a bowling exercise where you're supposed to get the ball to roll. We get to follow where the ball goes so we could do some reconnaissance by doing this. We're spending. Yeah. Like full power, maybe this way would get the ball past that hill enough to do damage. 
But it doesn't seem like that's the case. No, no, no. Salamander mounts. Grab this ball. You choose all reds. Hmm. What are we doing wrong? Hmm. Or are we not doing anything wrong? You know, are we going to have to maybe fast travel out of this area to trigger something because the game is just glitched? We've seen this game crash once. We've seen it visually act gl glitchy once. Uh, so there's some believability in, in all of that. I, I'm not sure I really have just walked all the way over here. Demon Lord of Nordberg, isn't it? Hmm. Hey, this is broken now. So maybe, maybe this was really more of a case of I just needed to continue to walk in this direction and hope that they decide to throw shoot something at me. Go, 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 go. Alright, the timer on these are not too bad. Put that down. There goes a brown. But we're through. Unfortunately, that took almost 30 minutes. So, we needed to do something else. Like we need to send, send people to go pick up that orb and put it where it's supposed to be. over here right. so you guys go grab that and bring it this way and wouldn't it be Super annoying if it turned out that this door closes automatically even when there's nobody in here. Get some gold. We might be able to afford the abysmal armor. And, but definitely not going to be able to afford all the weapons. Alright, so I assume this is either going to be a cutscene or we're just throwing it in the middle of the city and we don't care where it goes. Hmm. 
deal with the last defenders. Burning oil. Mm, bit more like an explosive fire. Oh man, I'm I'm not doing too well. Two, three, four, five. I got two of them down. All right. Four. Yeah, I think that's enough there. So we got two towers. Let's go this way. Let's see if we can take two of them out at the same time. Did we get both or just one? Go that way. That's one more tower down. Let's see. nice this is cool and all but I I don't really see a reason for all of that I just wanted to destroy that statue like we're, we're still like way way far away from what an overlord game should be and that that just makes us feel like it's more of an experience of a half half finished game that that they were trying for these catapult gameplay mechanics when they already had gameplay mechanics that worked pretty well in their engine from Overlord 1 and Overlord Raising Hell. Uh, there's been two previous games, so integrating what was already there and, and maintaining that main gore gameplay mechanic is kind of important. Like, imagine if a Halo 2 came out, or Halo 3 came out, and it was completely different gameplay mechanics from first-person shooter. Uh, then you'd have something like Halo Wars, which, quite frankly, was not well-received. We've got people trying to escape. zigzagging all over the place. There's not really a lot of reason to uh, to kill those. The, the fleeing people. Uh, at this point it feels like it is definitely an experiment in how many people can you get on the field at, at the same time. Because clearly they want it. Let's go ahead and take out the rest of these guys. And I guess we'll go a little late here. Watch out for explosions, watch out for anything. Let's see. These guys are not particularly dying uh, and giving me gold or anything. I don't really see any uh, systems here. Let's just go ahead and 
take these guys out. Like all my minions are dead. Alright, so I need to get out of here. Yeah, if I'm gonna do some cleanup work, uh, I need some minions first. And of course, as soon as I go in that direction, I'll refill my health. So I can just stand here forever. time since we've sent just rounds after him. Um, but they told me to get out and defend the uh, they, they told me to get out and defend the shield the catapult. So it's kind of unfair for them to to then come back and say, oh, now you need to use the catapult again. Come on. Well, I think that is kind of what they're trying to say here. And that was a big loss of browns again. I just have a small number here left or are they just continuously respawning? Hmm. Let's see. Back in the back in the catapult so they go. people that are too close. Is that enough? guys keep throwing bombs trying to blow us up we've dealt with the Empire's last defenders good not really true but whatever apparently there was a percentage there um so we're now 10 minutes over. Uh, I think that there's a lot more game here. Uh, 
I think that there has to be a final boss fight against either the Emperor or at least the second in command. We still are 500 gold less left of having the uh, having enough to get the upgraded armor. Uh, life force wise, we're pretty low on browns. We're pretty low on reds. Greens are way too high at this point, and and blues have gone up slightly by 12. Uh, we're low on black lotuses. We're really high on red lotuses, or red crystals and black crystals. Um, I assume our alignment still is not at full evil, so we're going to get into the city and have to make a decision there. Um, I really wouldn't be surprised if we take over the city and then there's uh, going to be an opportunity that I'll probably take to kill everybody in the city and, and thus move my alignment to true evil again. That's going to be it for this recording, though. As always, I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box thank you for watching have a good evening